thought I'm good from the inside out. I'll provide the vibes. Just fill me up. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chi, for all that don't know. Um, I honestly wanted to make an impromptu video. This was literally like not even planned. You're gonna see me going back and forth, trying to grab stuff so I could do my makeup because I need to leave in about like 40 minutes. So today is actually my friend Nancy's birthday. You saw her in my birthday vlog. And I'm getting ready so that we can go out to eat. So I already did my hair, my outfit. I need to put my robe on so that I can protect my outfit because it is cream colored. So I shall be right back. So I literally just got back from my trip. Everything is still in suitcases, so that's why I'm a little all over the place, but we're gonna try to do the best that we can and kind of finish. Okay. So um, in the video, I'll also be showing you guys what I'm using. Like I already washed my face, so I'm using this deep clean toner with salicylic acid acne treatment. And it's basically the Target brand. So I'm just gonna do that. And I honestly wanted to like update you guys and then just kind of like talk about what's been going on. So if you guys have been keeping up with my vlogs, you've heard little snippets of like, oh, big things are happening in 2024 and you know, I told you guys I was like pretty much planning for my life um, for the new year. And I am very excited to say you guys are literally going to be the first to see this video but I'm excited to say that I accepted a job and I literally just signed my contract, you guys. So I have a job lined up for after residency and honestly, I'm super excited, super duper excited. Also, sorry if I'm not looking at you guys. Um, I'm gonna be like, kind of like going back and forth again, sorry. Uh, let me just bring this over here. Okay, so, I accepted a job and I'm so excited about it you guys like I've kind of been on the hush hush about it just because like you know you don't want to jinx anything and you just want to make sure that like things go the way they're supposed to and just make sure things are finalized before announcing anything so they are it's finalized now and I kind of just wanted to like in a way talk about the process and like how I even got to this point. So, um, I know I've been getting a lot of new subscribers. Hey y'all. And for the people who haven't subscribed, you know, go and tap that subscribe button, okay? Because it's a journey over here and we keep it real over here and we just show the fun, the good, the bad, everything. So, anyway, um, so you guys know that I'm in residency. Um, my residency is a three-year residency and my specialty is podiatry so um, if anyone is curious about what podiatry is how I kind of got into podiatry um, pretty much I was pre-med in college started off as pre-med by the way I'm using the one size um, primer this is the secure the blur makeup magnet primer but I was pre-med in college um, I always knew, like, I know people say, like, some people say, I always knew I wanted to be a doctor. No, like, I always knew. Like, I knew I wanted to be a doctor since I was, like, a toddler. Um, I just didn't know. I thought I knew what specialty I wanted to be in. Sorry, I thought it was my GPS telling me how much longer I have. But, um, I thought I knew what specialty, no, I knew I wanted to be a doctor. I just didn't know what specialty I wanted to be in. So I was very, like, open. I knew, like, I wanted to work with kids. So at first I thought I wanted to be a pediatrician. But then as you go through school and you go through things and I went to a vocational school so I kind of like fast tracked into like patient care and like getting clinical experience like I was working as a medical assistant at 16 so that's what I got my patient experience for like how I got my patient experience and my clinical hours when I applied for college like I pretty much had already suppressed surpassed what I needed like if I was applied to med school podiatry school all that stuff so I did that. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I had some fun in college, okay? So the GPA wasn't exactly where it needed to be. It wasn't like horrible, but it wasn't like the best because everybody knows that 
if you are applying for med school, you it's hard. By the way, using the Dior Glow, a uh, skin glow in the color. What color is this, girl? Girl, I don't even know what color this is. What color is this? 1L01? It's saying 1L01? I'll figure it out. I'll try to link it down below for y'all. So, um, everybody knows that trying to apply for med school is literally, like, so stressful. So stressful. Because, like, this is the problem. Growing up, academically, a lot of people that apply for med schools are the top of the top of their class, right? So we all kind of grew up knowing especially if you knew early on you knew like grades matter so you grow up and i know the color looks off but we're gonna blend it i didn't even have time to go get a new shade or honestly i just have been lazy i'm like i'm gonna use up this foundation um but anyway so you know that you kind of like have to keep up with your grades because you know at the end of the day like that is your comp like every that's your competition that's your way in to get an interview for schools to kind of like figure out what you're going to do early on you kind of know like if i want to be a doctor girl these grades matter right and i feel like growing up already knowing i wanted to be a doctor i didn't really like give myself that time to kind of like oh explore the options i just kind of already knew like nah this is what i want to do this is what i feel like i'm called to do we're just gonna get there so in school i feel like my grades were always really really good college i like kind of um what's it called in college i had fun <laughs> so my grades weren't as high is what I wanted them to be. I think I had, what did I have, like a 3.2-ish? Um, which is not horrible because I was a biochemistry major. So it wasn't like I was doing anything. I was a biochemistry major. And then when you take them advanced, uh, what's it called, chemistry, math classes, all that stuff, your, your GPA is gonna dip. <laughs> so um, I kind of knew that going in. So basically, I... Um, Hold on, y'all. Every single step, I literally use um, setting powder. So this is the one size ultimate setting powder in the color translucent. So it looks like this, like this. So basically, I kind of already was like, oh, girl, that GPA is not what it needs to be if you're trying to apply for, um, if you're trying to apply for uh, schools, right? So I knew this going in. So. The next step was okay let's do a post back but my biggest thing was i a lot of post back programs which if you're in like pre-med and you're watching this or whatever um you want to see if you can i think it's more beneficial to get into a post back program that you actually receive a degree and not a certificate in the reason why is because it gives you a fallback plan and i know like when well, you know being pre-med you're like no all i see in my life is medicine like i like I want to be a doctor, da, da, da. but honestly, you're not introduced to all the different types of careers that you could be in in the healthcare field that like is less stressful and less costly. Um, so for me, I was like, you know what, girl, let's be smart about this. Now I'm going in with the Huda Beauty um, Graham Cracker. That's the color. And this is their faux filter concealer. This is the mini size. Honestly, I like love this concealer. I'm running out. I need to get another one. Um, but in my head i kind of was like if you're gonna go back to school which is was the plan make sure that you're not going to go be paying for a certificate like in my head i was like i want another degree so that is how i ended up from boston to california so i went to uh, um, Keck Graduate Institute. Honestly, I started off at UMass Boston. Um, went to Keck Graduate Institute in Claremont, California. For all my Cali people, it is, you guys know, it's in the Inland Empire. So it was about like 45 minutes um, away from LA. So basically, went there and I started off like they had a certificate program, which I applied to. But honestly, I think the best thing that ever happened to me was that like I got into the master's program and not just the one year um, certificate program, which I'm like, I thought that would be harder to do, but whatever. So I started off as a bio 
medical science major at this school and the ironic thing is like it was biomedical sciences with like a hint like with like a huge not hint honestly it was like a decent amount of like focus on business and business in the medical field the healthcare field like sciences in the world and like that so that's how i got introduced to all the careers that you could literally have in um in medicine so i was in that degree or that focus that a uh, major for a year and i was doing research and that's another thing y'all already know if you're applying to med school you need to have some research so i was getting research done there because i didn't do it in college and um my research like I guess like PI um, which is the principal like investigator like basically the main person that's in charge of your project and you're kind of like their research assistant and helping out he um, was starting his own kind of like master's program at the school and it ended up being a master's of engineering and honestly it was like an easy transition for me because the things I was doing was more in the engineering side of like like biotech so he was just kind of like, hey guys, like a few of us who were doing research with him, like I'm starting a master's program. Do you guys want to join it? And you know, the people that like, it was specific for the people that I was doing research with. So we had a class of like six um, when it first came out and we said yes, but my only caveat was I want to graduate in time so I started that school in 2015 my thing was I want to graduate in 2017 like I was originally supposed to I don't want to be here for three years only two so they said yes so we literally when I say jam-packed jam-packed all these like engineering courses like we had for my biotech people we were upstream downstream we were doing like um, learning how to do like CAD work and like working with bioreactors and like we was deep in it we were deep in it right but i was like oh this is kind of fun but a part of me was still like you know this is fun but like i don't know if i want to be in the lab side of things i really really still am itching for the patient side the patient care side of things sorry guys i'm also keeping track because of 619 the patient care side of things so um I kind of like kept that in mind but i was like you know what at least i'm gonna graduate with a master's in this and i'm um, for sure if worst case scenario gonna be able to find a job like that was my biggest thing i was like girl you because i've always set myself up for in a way like success and i've always been a planner for the future like i had to teach myself like pay attention to the now but um so i told myself like girl you're gonna have to um what's it called you're gonna have to like decide like if, if you're gonna join this master's program or not so i did <laughs> and learned so much like so 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 much i was on so many like research projects and did so much thing like it really was a good experience i will say like really really was a great experience and what i liked is that like i made it clear that my intention was still to apply to med school and stuff like that so even though i wasn't a part of the certificate program per se i still would go to the things that they were doing you know because like we would share some classes and then when i know like okay so our med schools were coming to talk to them and kind of like you know do like a school fair and talk about their schools and their programs that i would be there to gain information about what school I possibly would want to go to so honestly it was really good in terms of that so then so at, in these schools how I got introduced to podiatry because I did not know what the heck podiatry was um, one of the schools um, came and visited us and this is so ironic but like I always thought because then at this time now I'm kind of like all right I kind of know what specialty I'm interested in I had worked in an orthopedic department while I was in high school um, and that's where I was that's where I got all my patient care because then I was like I kind of like this bony work you know like I kind of like the carpentry of medicine this is kind of fun <laughs> so um, so I thought okay I'm gonna go to med school and I'm gonna try my best to score high on the mat on the steps because at this time the board exams were still graded it wasn't like pass fail and I was like I'm gonna try to score as high as I can on these steps to make sure that I can get into the orthopedic residencies right 
cool that was my plan i was like you know what i'm gonna learn as much as i can here take that with me but girl we're going to med school right so they came and i was like what got me and i have always as uh, i always say this my channel is to show you that you can still be in this profession and still make time for your dreams and make time for the things that you actually want to do and what i really what what point like honestly caught my attention when the podiatry school was actually talking was when they said um they told the cool things you could do the surgeries you could do and i was like okay for a fact i knew i wanted to do surgery so they were talking about the surgeries you could do different things you could do and they said work-life balance so okay this is what i'm gonna say this is what i'm gonna say me going into my masters really put a lot of things into perspective that i wouldn't have cared about in college like in college i was like i just want to be a doctor i don't care about work-life balance you watch ways anatomy you watch all these things you know doctors work like crazy so i was like that's just gonna be my life but then when i was watching oh sorry y'all i'm going in with the anastasia um uh, Beverly Hills cream bronzer in the color deep tan and this is what it looks like y'all see I can I'm clearly using it up but it's lasted me a while so um, I was like I want a good work-life balance like I want to be a mom but I want to be a that's the difference I want to be a mom but I want to be a hands-on mom okay so that was like very important to me so I want to be the mom that's making um you know lunches and in different shapes and shit for excuse my language but for my kids like you know and I want to be the house where they bring their friends after school and they're hanging out and I have like snacks and stuff for the kids like that's just always been my dream and that's something I knew I wanted to do like I feel like my mom set a really good example of like the type of mom I wanted to be oh what is this oh y'all hold on why is this saying the temperature the camera's hot is that what's going the camera does feel kind of low-key hot hold on hold on y'all Okay, we're back. I shut the camera off because for some reason it said the temperature was going cray cray. So anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, work-life balance. So I knew the type of work-life balance I wanted. Like I knew that as I got older, the type of mom I want to be, hopefully, pray to God, and just the type of future I saw for myself. And I feel like if this was while I was in college and I would have gone straight to applying for med school from college and all that stuff after taking the MCAT, I feel like that would have never been a priority for me. Like, I would have been like, babe, it's, my life resol revolves around work, you figure it out. You figure out how to fit yourself around my work schedule kind of thing. But as I got older, I realized there were other things that were important to me and I feel like I wouldn't have really stepped into that if I didn't like do my masters and just grow up in a way <laughs> so basically um i decided that okay like you know work-life balance seems good i don't have to give up and that was another thing how do i have a great work-life balance where i don't give up the things that i truly want to do which i did actually want to do surgery so and you know a lot of people will tell you oh surgery you don't have time for yourself blah 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 but i was just kind of like how do i avoid that and like how do I kind of have my cake and eat it too like how do I be able to do surgery and also be the type of I'll have the type of balance with my personal life that I wanted right so I find out about podiatry I of course tell my mom and the reason why is for anyone who is first generation from like an immigrant family or things like that you know they have high expectations, right? They have high expect expectations. You are the firstborn in America. You have all the possibilities and things in life that a lot of people didn't have in your family, like the opportunities, right? So I told my mom because I feel like in other countries, all they know is MD. And now people are recognizing DO, you know? So I was like, hey, I just want to let you know I'm really interested. There's a program. Sorry, y'all. I don't know if it's actually changing the color of what's happening here, but I'm just going to continue talking. I just want to let you know that I'm interested in a school, but just to let you know, it's not like an MD or DL program. It's actually podiatry. And I kind of like explained it to her. And thank God, even though I'm first generation, um, 
I just have a very understanding mother. You know what I mean? Like she, she did come here at an early age, so I feel like that also helped break a lot of things and also like but she's just so understanding and she's like listen i just want you to do what makes you happy i told her i was like i'm still gonna be a doctor still you know which is what i wanted to do she didn't she didn't care what i wanted to do she was just like go to school and you know follow your dreams so i was like i'm still gonna be able to be a doctor and you know do surgeries it's just different no one really knows what's going on like in terms of like um like it's not like I don't know how to explain it like it, it I'm still doing what I want to do it's just a different path and at first it was hard for me to accept that because in my mind I'm a planner you guys when I say planner planner I'm a planner to the point that like I'm already planning <laughs> I'm already planning what my life is about to look like for the rest of 2024 and 2025 like I have my life like I will say not my life but my career like in terms of like my career and my path to like my work life has been planned out since I was like a young age. So I was like, well, I'll still be able to do the things that I want to do. And y'all, this is this. Oh, I forgot to tell you the blush I was using. I was using Rare Beauty in the color Hope. And it's their liquid uh, blush. But this is, I've had this for years. This is, uh... It's my Ray Ray, she's on YouTube, she, one of the OGs, her BH Cosmetics collaboration. Y'all, this thing is to the pan, but I love her uh, highlighter here, so I'm just gonna try to keep continuing to get what I could get out of it. But, um, so I told my mom, I was like, it's something I wanna do, I'm interested in it, she was like, go for it. So, once I had the support of my mom, like, that was it, I, I didn't care what anybody said, and you know, you're gonna be in healthcare and people are gonna be like, podiatry, like, <laughs> what is that? And they're gonna try to downplay what podiatry is. Or they'll say, oh, did you go into podiatry because you didn't get into med school? Side note, I never applied to MD or DO schools. Podiatry was the only school I applied to. So I kind of like, am one of those people, I'm not about to waste my money. <laughs> we need to know what I'm applying for and what I'm about to pay. Oh, hold on y'all, it's about to shut down again. Sorry, one sec. Okay, we back. Battery. This is my battery about to. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm going in with the one size setting spray until dawn. Y'all know I swear by this. Every time it's in stock, I literally restock, even if I have some, because y'all girlies have been catching on with this. And everybody, not just the girlies, everybody that knows how to do their makeup has been catching on to this. And it's the truth. And I have oily skin, and it's it still saves me. So, um, where was I? So I was like, baby, <laughs> I'm not just gonna be spending my money applying to things. We need to have a game plan. What's, what is it? And at first, my plan was I was gonna apply to med school, apply multiple times, like, like we are taught to do, spend so much money applying to schools. And just to hope, that's the part that sucks, just to hope that you even get it. You just spent all this money trying to learn how to do, like, studying for the MCAT, doing this. Sorry, y'all, let me change the battery because this, this thing keeps doing that. One second. Okay, we're back. So, um, like I was saying, I don't even know if I showed you guys. Yeah, I did. That I used my one size? Cool. So, basically, um, I was like, babe, <laughs> I have to have a serious talk with me, with myself, and just be like, you know how expensive it is to apply to med school. Like I said, I'm a planner. I already looked into all of these things, how much all that stuff costs, right? And I had to have a serious talk with me and with myself and just be like, are you willing to go through that like turmoil, to be honest, and hope for the best that you get in? And honestly, I respect the people that do. Me and my household? No, I couldn't do it. So um, sorry y'all, looking for my lipstick. This is the, this was the collab with, um, Kylie Jenner and, um, Kylie Jenner and, uh, Jordan Woods, their lipstick. Honestly, I love that collab. I love that palette. It's a good palette. Uh, but I was like, I'm not willing to do that, like, for myself. So I was just kind of like, okay, well, I like podiatry. It seems interesting to me. I get to do the things I want and I don't have to give up 
things like you know what I mean like I could still be the type of have the personal life I wanted and do the things I want to do so I was like all right cool sounds good to me sign me up so at this point um I started applying and I uh what's it called applied to western so there's like well i guess now there's 10 there was nine podiatry schools in the country of the united states because i know i do have some international subscribers hey y'all but there were nine schools at the time i think now there's like either 10 or 11 um in the country and i was just kind of like okay well i am going to apply here i definitely applied to East Coast because I'm a, I'm from Massachusetts so I was like you know what let's try out the New York program I was thinking about applying to Temple but honestly when I went to my interview I think I applied I don't know I didn't apply to all of them I was kind of lazy and I'm not gonna lie to you I applied to the one I applied to all of them that was my intention because there's only nine and you know you're around friends and they're applying to 50,000 medical schools so, so but I was like when they asked for an extra essay and I think there was one school and it was the Chicago school asked for extra essay I was like I don't have time for that so and that's the God honest truth I understand some people are probably like really but yes I, at that moment I was in so deep with my research and I was like I don't have time to be trying to write another paper so I applied other after my personal statement it was extra paper outside the personal statement so I was like yeah 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 we're not doing that um but it's a good school it's just I chose not to do that so um what's it called so basically i applied i so i have an interview at Barry university that's where i ended up i absolutely love that place and i when i was in the interview sorry i'm trying to figure out what earrings i'm about to wear i don't need anything too too big where's my jewelry um i loved like the school when I went like I was like I love the professors I love the teachers and I have had a great track record in terms of being in schools and being in environments that are very that they are really good at like providing guidance and I feel like I knew that like while I was applying I was like okay girl sorry I'm trying to blend my hair line because I feel like there's a huge difference between the color of my face and the hairline. Okay, so I basically was like, all right, it kind of reminds me of UMass. So when I was in KGI, the first year, I'm not going to lie, I had a... One of their little deans said that he was not here to help me get to where I wanted to get. And I'm Nigerian and that doesn't sit well for me. So I, with my true Nigerian self, don't take no for an answer like you're not god dude. you can't tell me what i'm gonna do and what i'm not gonna do so i did what i needed to do with or without his help so he didn't help me get to where i am and i said what i said so <laughs> on the other hand all my other schools were very helpful with the guidance from like high school i had great guidance counselors i had great teachers in high school um even my catholic school elementary school great teachers like it was just literally that one dean who was who wasn't really helpful but when I switched into that other master's program then I had all the guidance I needed like I was like oh cool like I don't even have to deal with this man he doesn't need to be involved in anything that I'm doing in terms of my future so word sign me up let's go to the next program so um and that's another thing another topic when we do another chit chat about how the struggles of being a black woman in a field like this but i feel like i have a different perspective because i've had such good guidance from people of other races so i want i do want to touch on that mommy how do i want to say mommy i, I meant maybe in another uh like chit chat get ready with me but basically i get into my podiatry school great guidance and then i use that same tactic to get into the residency program i'm in and i honestly feel like using paying attention because i know a lot of people you guys are applying to programs you guys are applying to schools and it's all about the name don't just pay attention to the name of the school or the program pay attention to if the guidance like you know the good thing with big schools is okay you're gonna have great networking but are you the type of person that can network on your own or do you need guidance and i feel like my master's program um helped me learn 
sorry y'all, how to network and do the things I needed to do to get to kind of like where I am. I feel like each school kind of taught me something different. But basically, I'm sorry y'all, let me put some lotion and then we can bounce. So basically, I applied to my program, my school, went to Barry. I'm in residency in Hoboken, New Jersey, and I just feel like every step of the way I've had great guidance, and I feel like that is something to pay attention to. When you're applying to schools, when you're applying to, um, when you're applying to like residency programs and all that stuff, like pay attention, pay attention. They're gonna tell you all the names, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's all fine and dandy, but like how, what is the guidance that you're giving for your students? Like pay attention to that. Are the students doing it on their own? Because then you have to understand, are you built like that to take initiative? Because you know, I'm very, in, I'm, I like taking initiative. I like having, I feel like I have the power of my life in my hands. Um, I don't like giving up control, like in terms of like my destiny, I should say. Um, but you want to pay attention to that. Like, pay attention to if there's guidance for you. Do the residents or students feel supported? Because that's a big thing too. Um, and yeah, so I'm low key need to go now. So we're gonna continue this conversation another time but this was actually fun to, to talk about this because I feel like I don't really have time to like sit down and have conversations but I do think this is something that like I wish we had more like kind of like knowledge about or like more people speaking out about things to pay attention to when you're going through this journey so that you're like prepared prepared to make the best decision for yourself but I need to head out um, so I'll catch up with y'all soon and we'll continue this story. See ya!